Applaudissons très fort pour nos premières dames. First Lady of uh, Burkina Faso and Goodwill Ambassador of Inter-Africa Committee on Traditional Practices Affecting the Health of Women and Children. Excellency Madame Lala Malika Isufu, First Lady of Niger. Excellencies, Ambassadors, distinguished guests, all protocol observed Ladies and gentlemen, good evening to you all. First of all, on behalf of the Embassy of Ethiopia and that of my own, I wish to welcome you all to our embassy. My name is uh, Jesu Kuyate. I will introduce Mrs. Spivak. Ms. Spivak is a member of Executive Bureau of IAC USA, and she's an asylum coordinator, immigrant and refugee right protect. She has done tremendous job, tremendous work for the immigrant people in the United States. Please help me welcome Ms. Wolf Spivak. Okay. Bonsoir. I am a legal assistant with the Washington Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights and Urban Affairs. I am honored to participate in this gathering, especially with the presence of such distinguished guests. In 2003, I first met the Kuyate family, and I still have this vivid picture in my mind of that first meeting. I met Dr. Kuyate, Mrs. Kuyate, and I believe four of the children. I also met or was introduced to Dr. Kuyate's slides presentation on traditional practices that affect the health of women and children. And I was introduced to the Inter-African Committee. The meeting was the beginning of a professional and personal relationship that has developed over the past years. My knowledge has broadened as a result of this relationship, and I have learned of the struggles both in the United States and in many African countries. Madame, Ambassadrice de Bonne Volonté du Comité Inter-Africain, Coordinatrice de la Campagne Internationale pour la Résolution de l'Assemblée Générale des Nations Unies interdisant les mutilations génitales féminines dans le monde. Madame Malika Issoufou Amadou, Première Dame de la République du Niger. Sabah Gouri est le senior advisor on gender based violence in the Office of Global Women Issues. Saba. Good evening, everyone. I am so pleased to be here with such um, esteemed First Ladies, ambassadors, and members of the community who are working to raise awareness and are doing such great advocacy to address and prevent this really serious problem, which is a problem around the world. That is why it's so important to have an organization such as the Inter-African Committee, its presence in the United States, and I am honored to be here at IAC's inaugural event, and thank you for inviting me. As you all might be aware, for the first time, the Department of State, um, with, the Secretary of St uh, with the Secretary Clinton speaking on behalf of the Department of State, commemorated the International Day of Zero Tolerance at the State Department in February and brought together key leaders and activists together to highlight effective tools and strategies to address and prevent this practice. It was long overdue and it was the first time that the State Department had ever highlighted this event at such a high level. And while 
And while it is a very difficult topic, it is one that must be discussed. This practice, helping societies and, and communities abandon the practice is crucial to the lives, the health, and future of women and girls. And for this reason, we know it is vital to our development efforts and to strengthen the nations across the globe. We all know that the impact of FGM on the physical health alone is enormous. Um, it, from, a social, from a social perspective, FGM is recognized as a grave violation of human rights of girls and women. It's not a religious issue or justified by culture as well. And for this reason, the U.S. government has supported abandonment efforts since the early 90s, considering the practice not only a public health concern, but also a human rights issue that violates women's rights to bodily integrity. And we are involved um, in very active in an internationally based donors group, um, which is composed of key international governments um, and foundations committing to supporting the abandonment of their practice. Chers frères, chers sœurs de la communauté africaine aux USA, honorables invités. Je suis particulièrement honoré de me retrouver aujourd'hui devant cette auguste assemblée pour témoigner de l'engagement du Niger à protéger les droits des femmes et des enfants. Avec courage, les pratiques traditionnelles néfastes, dont les mariages précoces, les mariages forcés, ainsi que les mutilations génitales féminines.